Our next guest is an Emmy, Grammy, and Tony winning performer who you can see in the third and final season of Pose, which airs Sundays at 10 p.m. on FX. Please welcome Billy Porter. Billy Porter, everybody knows you're shining like a star when you strike a pose. Billy Porter, you're casting a spell. Porter, come on. I know you like my clothes. I'm uh, coming to Fallon. I, I call love it Sissy you. Pimp. Uh, <laughs> that's you call it Sissy Pimp. <laughs> my uh, Sissy Pimp look. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I want to uh, show you an Instagram photo because I follow you and you're a great follow. Um, this is you cleaning the pool. <laughs> this is how Billy Porter cleans his pool. Uh, Please. Uh, uh, it? Listen. Listen. That is a photo shoot in Palm Springs. It's Emilio Pucci realness. Okay. I didn't have a pool, pool when, I start, when I shot that. I do have a pool now. And, I saw that one. See? and somebody else claims it. <laughs> oh, come on, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's it, that's what I'm talking about. I don't clean about. the pool, kids. <laughs> I don't clean the pool. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to talk to you about a bunch of things, but I, I want to talk to you about this Hollywood Reporter article. Um, this is uh, this was amazing, actually. It was Thank powerful. It says, this is what HIV positive looks like now. Yes. Um, I, we, we all didn't know. Uh, obviously, uh, you, you were HIV positive for 14 years? Yeah, I've been um, positive since 2007. And, um, you know, having lived through the AIDS crisis, um, it was heavy for me. It was a heavy year, 2007, and I lived with the shame of it um, for a really long time. And last week, I released that shame. Yeah. I released that trauma, and I am a free man, honey. It free, feels, it feels free. Good. Yes, it does. It does. It I've good. never, I've never, I've never felt joy like this before. And you know, we talk about it in the black church. You know, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. I got it. I got some joy now. I'm so happy. You know, and it's just, it really feels good. It really feels great. Uh, I, 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 I thought it was very brave of you, but also what an uh, interesting story. And I, I can't even imagine how anyone would just deal with that and just I mean, uh, your, you, your mom, you didn't even tell your mother. No. <laughs> that was the thing, you know, it's like growing up in the Pentecostal church, there's such a stigma surrounding it. You know, having lived through it, you know, I was supposed to know better, it happened anyway. You know, there was just so much going on and my mother received so much, um, you know, persecution yeah. um, because I was gay. And I just didn't want her to, her to have to go through that again. It's sort of like a second coming out. And I didn't want her to go through that again. And my sister and I had vowed we were just going to wait till she was dead. And um, she went into a nursing home six years ago. And she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> She's full of life. That's right. Good. So it's some time to tell her. Time to tell her, yeah. Time to tell her. How uh, well, I know you have a, you, uh, last time we talked, you said you were working on music. Yes. How's the music? New music, honey, new music. No, no, I want you know, this. I want this. For those of you who don't know, I, you know, I had a record deal back in the 90s, 1997. My first R&B album came out on a and Records. You know, they put my gay ass out. So I did it anyway. And now I'm coming back. Daddy's coming back. That's right. Move out the way. Ariana Grande, Beyonce, you know, all, Lady Gaga, all the kids just make some space for daddy. All right. I'm coming. Make some space. And you're recording right now? <laughs> I'm recording right now. I've been recording for the last two months. We got about 10 songs. Um, and I am so thrilled because, you know, for the first time in my life, um, it's exactly what I want it to be. The music is, exact, is exactly yeah. from me, what I want to say and, and the message and the gift that I want to give to the world, which is, you know, hope, you know, love. We, can, we have to choose it. We have to recommit to it every day. We have to choose it so that we can fight, 
you know, yeah. the, the, the evil that is pervasive. You know, we, are, we can only fight it with love. We can only do that. It can only change with love. And I'm so excited for my music for that. Uh, we also talked about, you're like, uh, I'm, I'm just going to work, work, work during this pandemic. And we're like, we're all right. And you said, I'm working on a memoir. Yes. I go, oh my gosh. And I go, how's the editing? How's it going? How's it writing? You're like, great. You brought to us tonight, which I'm so thankful, uh, the cover of the memoir. Get a first look of the cover. She's done. All right, the book here we is go. done. Ready? Ow. Ah. Mm, look at that. Pre-order. Pre-order. I need the children to pre-order. Pre-order. Oh my God. I need to be on the bestseller list, y'all. It's gonna happen. That's all. Yeah, they gotta pay that mortgage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I want to talk about Pose too while you're here. I mean, you have so Please. many projects. This is the the final season of yes. Pose. But you kind of always planned this out to be the final season, correct? Well, I didn't plan anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> you would have done. The creators. Um, uh, Stephen Canals and Ryan Murphy and uh, Brad Felchick, you know, they always intended for the story to end when the antiretroviral drugs uh, came out, and that was 96. And, you know, there wasn't really a limit, but as we told the story, you know, they realized, oh, we're there. And, you know, the, the show is too important to continue it just because it's a hit. Yep. It matters too much. Um, you know, this season is, I think it's exceptional. You know, I keep saying, you know, just for me personally, you know, I got to um, use Pose and Pray Tell as a proxy, you know, for my healing. Nice. Um, and, you know, I've been saying, if I don't ever do anything else, and I'm already doing a lot of other things, but if I don't ever do anything in my life, else in my life, That's I will have done it. You know, it's, I've said everything I've needed to say and now it's time to tell a different story. Now I get to tell a different story and I'm, I'm excited about that. I love you, bud. I wanna show everyone a clip. Here's Billy Porter in Pose, take a look. I loved you and I'm not ashamed of what you once meant to me, but you were asking me to step away from the church. No, and I, no, 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 the church stepped away from me. And I'm not the only one. Every year I watch hundreds of kids flock to the city looking for what they lost after the church threw them away. That's what your church does. That's what your church did to me. Amazing. Amazing. The final season of Pose airs Sundays at 10 p.m. on FX. Look for the music. Look for the book. Hey, hey.